Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth. And we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. ESPN and EA Sports brings you what is sure to be another great game of football. Today's matchup features the LSU Tigers and the Auburn Tigers. We're coming to you from the proud home of the Auburn Tigers, Jordan-Hare Stadium. Kickoff is next. from them in this game. With this spread attack, they like to have four or five wide receivers on the field at once. They get the quarterback in the shotgun and give him a lot of room to make decisions. He'll have to get good protection from his line to make things work, though. You want to watch how they go right to the line after each play. Utilizing the no huddle can quickly wear down a defense. For Auburn, the highlight of the running game is a stellar tailback. It's going to be interesting to see how he uses his skills going up against a stout group of linebackers. Time now for the coin toss, and we'd like to let everybody know that this game is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Pick up. Davis gets six yards on the carry. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Little handoff. Decent run here, right side. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. Get away. Nice tackle. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. It's second and nine. Ball on the 32 yard line. Houston takes the give. Tackle the 42 yard line. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Bumble, loose ball. If the defense had been able to fall on that, we could be looking at a big shift in momentum. From their own 40-yard line, second down. the 44 that reception good for around four yards you know little passes like this force the defense to start to come up then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up this crowd is almost shaking the stadium gets it 
off as he's hit. Complete. And he'll bring him down at the 47. A three-yard gain on the old screen pass. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Not much there on that opening drive. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 21. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 17. And he's brought down at the 44. But I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. First down, 10 to go. On the toss, watch out. And he's taken down at the 47. Good call there as the halfback turned the toss into a nine yard gain. Second down and around one yard to go. Ball on the 47. Yards the result of that carry, and that's good enough to move the chains. It's fortunate they didn't need a lot for the first because the defense had that pitch play played perfectly and gave up a very short game, but still not enough to prevent the first. We've got a first and ten. He lets it go. And they intercept it. The junior safety. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. On From their own 26-yard line. First down. Quick to the receiver, it falls incomplete. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Mango back to throw. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. That'll be a two-yard game. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. It started with a student section. Now this whole place is going crazy. Bingo, back to throw. They'll make the sack. I'm really not so sure what he's waiting for. He had some open receivers. He's going to have to pin that one on himself. It's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Jackson fields it at the 37. They'll bring him down at the 49. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. They'll get the ball here at the 49-yard line. Pitch right. Decent run here, right side. Four yards there on the toss. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. They 
They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 46-yard line. Finds his man. First down. Not every offense uses their tight ends very effectively. When they do, it can be a nightmare for a defense. First and ten, ball on the 34-yard line. He gets the toss, and he's got a block on the corner. Brought down at about the 15-yard line. And a huge run by the tailback. This guy's always had outstanding vision, but it seems he's got some incredible quickness as well once he gets into the open field. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. At the end, At the of, the end of the first quarter, quarter the score is tied. It and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. They come out in a five-wide set. Rodgers on the run, and he carries the ball for a nice game. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. So we're looking at another third down here. does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. It put everyone up on the line. Thomas will run it again. And they make the stop right around the eight-yard line. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Now they run it left and a nice tackle right there. The running back gets two on the carry. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. Hand off, and he's met immediately. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. It's third down and ten. Houston on the give, and he's tackled at the 18. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. From their own 18-yard line, it's first down. Run right, hit in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Try to change things up at the line. I don't think they can hear him. Drops back to pass. Picks up the loose ball. And the 
ball changed hands now after the fumble. This is a great bonus for this defense. They are taught to attack and try to strip the football, and this is a result of their aggressive play. We'll see if they can get it in as they start this drive in the red zone. Thomas on the run. They'll bring him down right around the eight-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup. Really just nowhere to go on that play. It's a good job of these guys slowing down that running game. Again with a carry. Touchdown, Tigers. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And instead of coming up with a loss, they end up giving up six. converts the extra point. And here's our drive summary. Auburn ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. It's a fumble. It's scooped up. And they recover their own fumble. I'm going to tell you something. This guy has got to do a better job of protecting the football the next time he gets it. Hand off, and he's met immediately. The defense was all over that draw play. They got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. Back to pass. He's under some heat. They bring the quarterback down. This kid's having quite a day. That's sack number two. Boy, I'll tell you, this guy has really made his defensive presence felt today. For this offensive line, it must feel like they're going up against an avalanche on almost every play. This guy's putting up some really good pressure on him. Third down and 12. Ball on the six. Houston gets it on the inside. That bold after decent pickup. Four yards gain. So it's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Jackson is the deep man awaiting the return. It's a block on the corner. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They'll go to work at the 45. He unloads it. He goes up and gets it. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. They got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Side hand off. And he's taken down around the 13 yard line.
We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. Our score here at Jordan-Hare, Auburn 7, LSU nothing. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. He sends this one deep. He makes it to the 15-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. First and 10. Ball on their own 15. Chucks it deep down the right side. Caught sideline and he stays in. The receiver did a nice job to separate himself from the defense on that one. And when the defense is going to play man coverage out there, all the receiver has to do is get a step, and the quarterback's going to find it. Now it's first and ten with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Auburn is up seven. Thomas up the gut, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. Auburn is up a score. Rodgers running the option. The quarterback has some room. They may not catch him. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take him down. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. From midfield, second down. Rodgers, options right side. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Auburn up seven points. Look at the throw. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. Cameron is the putter. It's away, and it's a booming putt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So let's see how the defense will hold up now as this offense comes out for their next drive. Trying to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. It's second and 12. of a yard for the tailback. Here's third and 11. Ball on the 19. This place is starting to get fired up. Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. They might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play-action pass there, but by going to the ground, they didn't have much of an open. So it's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Jackson takes it to 36, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. 
Auburn is up by a touchdown. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. On the ground, right side. was that close to turning that into a big play. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 29. Play, taken down to the backfield. Even though they lost yards, they shouldn't get away from the ground game. Keep pounding it away. It keeps the defense honest, and it creates opportunities in the passing game. Deep ball, laying it out there. Almost picked off. The offense took an errant shot into the end zone, and I'll tell you what, that one should have been picked off. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to hear all about that from his teammates when he comes over to the sidelines. They keep it on the ground, and a great tackle right there. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. This one, 51 yards away. So the kicker is unsuccessful, and this defense couldn't be any happier. Still, our score, Auburn, 7, LSU, nothing. They'll go to work at the 34-yard line, first and 10. It's a carry right side. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Run right and hit in the backfield. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Six yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the forty six. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. Personal foul. Hoping the pass passes. This was just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. From the 31 yard line, first down. middle and he meets the defense the running back gets a yard maybe less from the 31 yard line second down run play and he'll lose yards a loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen you got that right they sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it Back to pass. Can't find anyone open. It's recovered. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. <laughs> 
One more quarter of action remaining, and this one has been a real treat. Our score here at Jordan-Hare, Auburn 7, LSU nothing. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Kicks up. No good. He hooked it right. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. They'll start at the 37-yard line. Side. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Five yards. Second and six. Ball on their own 42. Looking long to the right. No, incomplete. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. to the back they tackle him there and he's still going to be short couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving no he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys but they stood their ground it's fourth down looks like they're going to punt it away here Cameron to punt oh he got nailed on that one if they punted they would have pushed him back pretty far now by failing on fourth down They've given a pretty decent field position. Not a great gamble by going for it. Well, now let's just see how much this will come back to haunt them. It's first down going the other way. They'll go ground. It was the umpire that threw the flag, and generally, that's a holding penalty. Well, if you want to ruin a drive, just grab a hold of a defender's jersey. First and long now after the penalty. for his man incomplete well he tried to thread the needle with that pass well here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver throws it deep downfield and he got it excellent execution on one side of the ball that time and it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion Let's see if they can pull themselves together. First and ten. side and there is nothing going there think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that that's well done he gets sacked on the play so they set the safety on the blitz and he'll get credit for the sack nobody was left to pick him up he disguised the blitz very well and really made a nice play on the quarterback It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. He drops back. That's incomplete. He was a little erratic on that pass, but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there. He 
He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. Madison has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He really got a hold of that kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Look out! Excellent pass defense. You've got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Auburn holds a four-point lead. Takes it right, he can't get back to the line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Auburn is up by four. Less than three minutes in the game. Going deep on the left side. This one is batted away. Aggressive play going for the deep ball, but the corner stayed with it all the way and made a good move to break it up. Cameron awaits the snap. And this one is a beauty. Hill makes it to 28. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense. And they'll huddle up for this drive. And even though these guys are losing, they showed in their last drive that they can score. And they need to continue to be productive with this drive. The offense will take over at the 37-yard line. First and 10. to pass got his man can't tack on any yardage Edwards picks up about five yards on that hookup from their own 42 yard line it's second down Mango with the option they bring him down in the backfield when you're an option quarterback you get used to getting popped pretty quickly he'll bounce right back up Third and six. Ball on the 41-yard line. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Around the 50-yard line. And they'll go with a no huddle. Throws it out right to the running back. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. Mango back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. It can be really difficult to guard these long passes because you got to keep up with the receiver, make sure you don't run over him, and look out for the ball. That was not an easy play. Caught with room to work. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Bring him down at the 27-yard line. Only three yards there on the throw. It's second and seven. Ball on the 27. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down at the 16-yard line. We've got a first and 10. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Looking for his man, incomplete. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. He drops back. Going for it all to the end zone! 
It's third down and long. And losing by a possession, I would expect them to have to go to the air. He's looking to pass. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. And once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. And they'll need a prayer here to keep this game alive. Back to pass. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. The offense will take over at the 16. Auburn is up four, under a minute left in the game. To the right and tackled immediately. Thomas gains around three yards on the run. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Breaks the tackle and looking for the corner. Big opening. The 50 at the 40. At the 30, he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Speed will get you noticed, but I guarantee you, it takes more than speed to succeed at this level or the next one. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. Thomas gains about a yard on the play. should do it our final tally in this one Auburn seven LSU three and here's today's Reese's perfect play of the game brought to you by Reese's peanut butter cups the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter Kirk any final thoughts I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch Auburn really had to fight and make some big plays to come out on top in the end. This one was never a gimme. And for Newton, he walks away with the Player of the Game Award. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreet, Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.